Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. 7 days dedicated to Rupia Banda. Zambia declares seven days national mourning in honor of the late fourth president. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. The government says it has declared a seven-day national mourning period for late fourth Republican president Rupia Banda. Chief government spokesperson Chus Kasanda, however, says other details for the funeral will be availed to the public in due course. Speaking to journalists, after cabinet ministers visited Mr. Banda's Lilai residence, Ms. Kasanda, who is also information and media minister, said the public will be informed where the funeral for the late the head of state will be held. It is very clear that the will of our president is that we should not hold the funeral from here, she said. Meanwhile, a number of cabinet ministers, senior government officials and political parties representatives visited the late head of state's residence in Ililai this morning. Minister of Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development Charles Milopi, who led the delegation, described Mr. Banda as a global icon who united the country. Mr. Milopi said, late President Banda sacrificed a lot for Zambia from the time he was a youth, adding that he has left an indelible legacy for both Zambia and the rest of the world. The minister said Mr. Banda will also be remembered for uniting the country when third Republican President Levi Mwanawasa died. Most recently, as vice president of this nation, when tragedy struck the nation when we lost the third Republican President late President Levi Mwanawasa. When matters like that happened, the nation didn't disintegrate, but he rose to the occasion and held this nation together, he said. Mr. Milopi urged the wife to the deceased, Tandiwe Banda, and the rest of the family to use the positive memories of the late former president as a source of strength during this time of mourning. Among the notable figures included Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Stanley Kakubo, Minister of Lands Elijah Mchima, Minister of Agriculture Ruben Perry, Minister of Lusaka Province Shiu Muliata, Minister of Information and Media Chus Kasanda, and Acting Secretary to the Cabinet Patrick Kangwa, and late former Republican President's younger brother. James Banda said, Mr. Banda embraced different people irrespective of tribe. Mr. Banda said his older brother inculcated humility within him by constantly reminding him to be humble. He also announced that former Lusaka Mayor Fisho Mwale will be the official family rep representative during the period of mourning. And Mr. Mwale thanked the ministers for finding time to console the family during the period of grief. More news to come my lovely viewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.